Mmm. This is really good. Hard to believe I'm saying that about chicken liver. If you're needing iron and wanting to boost your energy and immunity, chicken liver is great for that. But the taste, I have a solution. And yes, I know that you can get the iron, zinc, B12, folate, and all the good stuff from supplements. But from my research, experience, and the Italian in me, I think nature often works best. So chicken liver. Okay, I do like pate, but most have so much butter, pork fat, and other dairy that it undoes the good nutrients and low cholesterol of chicken liver. So I created my own pate recipe. Start with one tablespoon of olive oil in a large pan. Put in four shallots and a half of a medium onion, sliced. Add a pinch of salt and saute to lightly brown the shallot. Then add half an apple in chunks, cored but not peeled. Cover and cook on medium low heat until the onion is translucent and the apple is soft. Add 18 ounces of chicken liver. I know, weird amount. I use the Bell and Evans and it's 18 ounces in the container. Another pinch of salt and mix together while breaking up the livers. Adding small pinches of salt along the way helps sweat liquids from what you're cooking and meld flavors. You'll taste for final salt at the end. Add one teaspoon of thyme and mix again while chopping a bit. Cook covered until livers are browned. Mix at least once during the process. Then add one tablespoon of Marsala wine. I usually offer substitutions, but in this case, Marsala is the right taste. Cook off the alcohol, about three minutes, and then cover to meld the flavors together for three to five more minutes. Then add two tablespoons of butter or ghee and mix to melt it in. Yes, we are adding fats, good fats, and in a better balance with proteins and the other beneficial nutrition. This makes nine to 10 servings. Turn the heat off, Cover and let sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Now everything goes into a blender. Please do it more neatly than me. Add a quarter cup of plant-based milk. I use macadamia, but oat or almond work and blend. You're going to need to mix it through with a spoon a few times because it's thick and challenging to blend. When it's at a creamy consistency, test it and blend in salt to taste. I divide it into three containers, cool overnight, and then I put two in the freezer. This way, I'm always eating it at its freshest. It defrosts overnight by moving it into the fridge. I eat it on open face sandwiches with fermented red cabbage because I'm pairing it with something high in vitamin C to absorb the iron better, or on crackers with pomegranate seeds. Yum. Try it, you'll see.